Guys, there is something that happened yesterday that is spooking a lot of the major whales in the crypto markets because we could be seeing billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin being dumped into the open market in a very short time span. And uh, today, guys, I am going to talk about why that is about to happen potentially and also why that is uh, causing a lot of fear in the market. I will go through everything you need to know, guys. If you're holding any crypto at all, you will want to watch this video. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing in cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. So let's get straight into it. And what you can see on the four hourly time frame, guys, not a lot has changed. We got rejected off of the orange box up here. You can see on the daily time frame, uh, we didn't manage to close above it. And on the four hourly time frame, we went into it and have had that rejection. So the same things I've been saying for the last few videos still remains the same. The two day chart, the rejection right here. Uh, but um, if you want to know more about my view about what I think is going to happen here in the short uh, or like in the midterm, then go back to my previous videos. Because in today's video, I want to focus on something big that happened yesterday. First, let's look at the uh, traditional market. So on the daily time frame, traditional markets in the US, you can see it's been going sideways. However, yesterday we did see a big dump from the Chinese stock market. So why did we see this? Well, in a uh, crazy turn of events, the Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index crashed by 9.4%, posting its largest drop since 2008 and the second largest drop since 2000. And for reference, over the last three weeks, China's stock market was up nearly 30% on stimulus announcements. So why did this happen? Well, China's stock market went into a week-long holiday break on September 30th, so about a week ago. Prior to the end of the break, China posted the below notice. Last night, this meeting happened, so they noticed that this notice was about a meeting, and uh, people were expecting that coming from this meeting, they would announce more stimulus. However, no new stimulus has been announced, so people were expecting more money to be uh, stimulated from China. That didn't happen, and so the stock market it went down. But as we know, there's no such thing as free money and stimulus is just a short term solution. What's interesting is that US stocks, the traditional markets right here, have not dumped. And the reason for this is potentially because uh, people see the US stock market as somewhat of a safe haven in the stock market. It is the most stable stock market in the world. And then after this, China has been announced they're going to hold a briefing on fiscal policy on October the 12th. So maybe you are going to see more stimulus being announced right here. So uh, yeah, this is very interesting times that we are living in. The stock market dumped because you didn't see more stimulus. And now potentially they are going to stimulate the economy even more. So uh, we will see about that on October the 12th. But there's no denying that the liquidity in the world is increasing. And that is going to have a long term effect on pushing Bitcoin, pushing assets up higher. Now, a couple of things to take note of, which is a little bit more on the bearish side. So the Washington Post reports that Israel officials are saying they're going, uh, there are ongoing preparations for a significant military response to Iran. So Yes, they are still planning this, this is what they are communicating, so let's see when this is finally going to happen, but people are obviously fearful regarding the consequence of this attack on Iran, what is going to happen, so uh, people are fearful regarding this. Another big thing that happened yesterday, guys, is that the US Supreme Court rejected a $4.4 billion uh, Silk Road Bitcoin case, denying Battleborn Investments claim to $4.3 billion seized from the Silk Road. So this could allow the US government to sell now that uh, this uh, is not really an ongoing case anymore. So the US government, they hold $13 billion and people are now fearful that because this case has been resolved, they are now going to start to sell some of these Bitcoin into the open market. This was posted yesterday. And uh, this is obviously not something that we can 100% uh, deny. Of course, they could do that if they want. It's in the hands of the US government. And we've seen Germany do this. We've seen the Mount Gox. We've seen Grayscale. We've seen, you know, entities dumping Bitcoin on our faces previously. But this is a significant amount, $13 billion in total that they are holding. So 
As you know, Donald Trump has said that he is going to establish something like a Bitcoin reserve if he is elected president. But the question is, it would not surprise me if the current administration, knowing that they are about to lose the election, that they go out and sell some of these Bitcoin into the open market. It would not surprise me. I hope that is not going to happen. I hope that they are not going to cause havoc like that. But we cannot rule out anything, okay? So uh, this is obviously one um, very annoying thing that this got posted right now when we were just about to hit some bullish momentum. We were just about to continue the uptrend here, the parabolic channel towards the upside. We get hit with this. We get hit with this stuff happening in, in the Middle East. And so that's very unfortunate. And also, we have to keep our eyes on this because there's significant levels of Bitcoin potentially being liquidated if we go down to the $61,700 area. So between $61,700 down to $61,300, there is hundreds of millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin longs that are going to be liquidated. So we need to be careful there because look at the upside. There's no not a lot of shorts here. People are very bullish right now. Not a lot of shorts towards the upside. So only a lot of longs here. So that causes a dangerous stance in the market. If we drop down here, we could see that liquidation going down. And guys, I'm giving you everything that the market is giving me. I'm giving you what the charts are telling me. I'm giving you the news. And we all have to make our own decisions based on this. I am, as you know, guys, not selling Bitcoin. I am a Bitcoin bull. And any kind of dip that you see right now or in the future, in the immediate short term, I think it's meant for buying. So that is exactly what I will do. If we do see a drop down, I will be buying that dip because I do think that we are going to see significantly higher prices. I know I've been saying that a lot, but that is what I believe. And I will continue to stand by that until something drastically changes in the market. And that is not something that I am seeing right now. Now, the rest of the week is going to be very important on Thursday. Well, today you have the FOMC minutes meeting. And on Thursday, tomorrow, you have the inflation rate and then you have the PPI tomorrow. So these three days are going to be very volatile based on this data coming out as well. So be prepared for that. And uh, also on a side note, we did have the documentary yesterday saying that Peter Todd is Satoshi, which he, by the way, denies himself. He is still alive. So I don't think that Peter Todd is Satoshi. Peter Todd is a well-known Bitcoin developer. But uh, yeah, there's many claims here saying that, give, are arguing for the case that why he is Satoshi, but I don't think that that is the case. And uh, the consensus from the overall Bitcoin community is that he is not Satoshi. So let us just forget about that for now. Guys, that is what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.